gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution! today jables so excited are you yes uh, my fave dude i look you've been talking about this all week you've been you've been ants when that, is jack coming that jack mandeville is here the man thanks for having me y'all jack look at that <laughs> smile look at glad that to be smile. here it's a beautiful See? day out and we're inside uh for the, those of you at home kids uh you might know jack mandeville from range 15 uh he was also in a in a little company Called Ranger Up. That's right. Uh, as of as of yesterday, I am uh, I'm solo. But yes, for four years gone I was now. with Ranger Up. Yep. Yeah, because a lot of people associate you with with Ranger Up. Yeah, that's the. Only, I mean, other than Range Fifteen, it's Ra- Ranger Up and Range Fifteen. That's it it. it. it would be fair to say that you were the face of the company. I was one of the faces of the well, company. Uh, you were in a lot of sketches. You were, I don't you work were in all of those sketches. Yeah, yeah, quite a quite a few of them. Most of them. You uh, are on Instagram. And you're and doing your like first exclusive mm-hmm. interview here. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> we appreciate you, you stopping by. Thanks for having me. We appreciate yeah. you coming down. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. You know what? In honor of Jack, I'm gonna strike force up at the top of the show. I never do this. I never do this, but I, f- I feel like I need a little more energy, a little more kick today. Really? Uh, you look ho- absolutely horrified. Whenever I, I, I'm I going heavy strike force days, because you've you already, look really horrified. You've already had so much, but oh, you just boy. keep bing, going bing, bing. back. You keep looking at This is the grape one, too. Uh, make America Grape Again. I love that is one. The, is the slogan for that. We're big fans. Uh, who? Jack. What are, you, what are you doing now? What are, you, what are your hopes and dreams? Uh, well, you know, yesterday was my last day at Ranger Up, and uh, I am uh, heading into Northern Virginia, D.C. area. Gonna, I, I got to go see about a girl, basically. Yeah, so, you're, yeah. Going, you're good while hunting it. Yeah, yeah, and it was, I'm probably one of the few men in America that I'm, I'm in no position to say you need to move for me. She's doing some really important stuff, so. Which we can't, we can't say on air what she does. No, no, but uh, I'm. D- but it's obviously in Washington, D.C. It's in D.C., yeah. I'm sure people can guess. It's they, not like she's working for the Washington Wizards. No, you know? absolutely not, yeah. yeah. I could get her to come down in that case, yeah. They're they're a do nothing team. But, yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's it's fun. Well, they're in the playoffs. They're they're uh, they, and they might win this the first round actually. Well, I don't know anything about basketball, so I just launched that one up in there. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We call that a lob. In basketball. Blew up on me. Yeah, I do we the call same that thing. I do the same yeah. thing. You know what? Ross probably gets this a lot, but do you I ever do. get um, people seeing you and being a little bit excited, but more wanting to see your lady? Oh, Do you yeah. Get that, Ross can. Uh, yeah, I can attest to that. Yeah. They're like, where's Jables at? Right, um, right. I need a drink. Like, yeah, a lot, yeah. A lot of people are like, where's Jables at? I need a at? sandwich. I, yeah, I need, yeah, I need something from the fucking kitchen. Um, right. Yeah. So, like, yeah, but, but you get that from a, like, for, for a different reason. Because yeah. your, your lady is in a high up profession. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is, is that weird? She but gets, no, she's awesome, though. Like, she, I love she's you. Awesome. No, she's the life of the party. But yeah. I was like, yeah. where is she? Where, Do you where, know where's I mean? your lady? Yeah. But I like you a lot. No, it's okay. No, yeah, I, yeah. I, I take no offense okay, to it. Okay, great. I'm a, I'm a very actually. Uh, like we were talking about earlier, I'm a basic bitch, so yeah. I'm a really boring yeah. person. If you right. if you see me at a party, I'll I I'm very underwhelming. Where she is the life of the party, people <laughs> yeah. want to be around her. Right, people are just naturally but attracted online, to her. You have a Ross different persona. That, yeah. I'm a mess online. Yeah, I mean, an absolute like, and your Instagram is one of my favorites to watch. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what, what is it? You want to tell the, the, the audience what it is? Yeah, it's uh, it's at Jack Mandeville, my full name, J-A-C-K-M-A-N-D-A-V-I-L-L-E. D- so, does, yeah. does your mom, Becky Mandeville, does she have a does she have? She's not on the gram. She she's not on, on the, the gram. gram. Yeah, well, that's where she's going to really see my hood rat shit. So I don't know if, if yeah. Becky would <laughs> want to go there. Yeah. Yeah. How many times there. have you shown your ass on Instagram? Oh, uh, just on my personal alone, uh, yeah. probably three or four, and then on the Ranger Up one, countless. Count, countless I times. don't even know. Yeah, <laughs> countless times. And then once in a movie. So yeah, yeah. and one and once in Range Fifteen. Yep. Uh, so so what are your what are your hopes and dreams moving forward? You, you gonna get a job in D.C. somewhere in the Virginia area? Yeah, you make more content because you were you did all the content in the videos for Ranger Up. Yeah, most of it. Yeah, or and qu- quite a lot of it. Um, yeah, so for four years, all I did was kind of, uh, you know, for my personal, and whenever sure. I got a really dumb idea, I just tossed it on there. But for Ranger Up, you know, we'd get an idea, we'd put a lot of effort into it. And for, that's what I did for four years was uh, 
it was creating content for Ranger Up. So I was doing it for one specific company, one specific cause. Right. Where now, um, you know, I've accumulated a lot of knowledge these past four years. Now I am, um, you know, I'm going to be starting my own LLC here soon and and offering the the knowledge and skills I've acquired with Ranger Up and before uh, to uh, startups, uh, other other veteran owned companies um, and you know, there's no shortage of opportunities around DC there as well. Yeah, so. absolutely. Cause, cause a lot of people, you know, don't realize at home, like they, they see sketches uh, from different companies mm -hmm. or, or videos or commercials uh, on Instagram or Facebook. And they assume, ah, that doesn't take a lot of work. Doesn't take a lot of effort. And it's just like, it, it actually does. It's a lot of thought. Yeah. And, and cause everybody like who hits me up about shit like this is like, oh man, I want to, man, I want to do a video like yours and have it go viral. And it's like, uh, that, that just that you can't there's a lot of elements there to making something yes. go viral sometimes it's even out of your control oh, no matter how much work so you some put of the into best it. shit that i've written and you can probably attest to this does the worst where you're like where you're like man and then the tiny that was my thing favorite that you put up that, that's the, just the like tiny throwaway thing you put like, no yeah. thought into yeah, yeah. but the, i think the name of the game in content is the more the better because yep. You know, you have more success rate of chances to hit mm -hmm. and having something go viral, but you just can't have one thing go like, oh, I'm going to pay for one video, have it go viral, and my company's going to be set for life. Right, like, exactly. It's not the thing. Everyone's going to be the next Matt Bass, basically. Yeah, <laughs> that's what yeah. they think. Yeah. Um, but but it, there's a lot that goes into it, and I know you did that at Ranger Up, where you mm -hmm. you wrote the sketches, you shot the sketches, mm -hmm. and, and and got everything organized. The editing, yeah, and, and at the end of the day, like with my background, like no matter what, what I'm doing, whether it's like a really dumb video or it, whatever, it's a meme. I mean, I make me, I made memes for a living, but <laughs> yeah. it, it all revolves around the fact that I consider you're my, one of the best memesters. Yeah. Thank you, though. thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah it's uh, when it, when I when I met my girlfriend's parents, it was a big selling point. Like I, I make memes, you know. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She comes from like a really cool, prestigious family in northern Louisiana. And really? Yeah, she brought she do, brought do home they a meme maker. Your Instagram? Her brothers do. <laughs> her mom does too, which oh, is weird. Boy. I'm very cognizant of that. So that, yeah. That, that, and her mom's yeah. the sweetest southern lady on oh, earth. And no. I guess she likes the stuff. I don't know. I haven't really asked. I had to stop doing that because like a family member started following me on shit, and mm -hmm. I was just like. The first few weeks, I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't say this or post this. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you got to get past that. You got to be you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to. Because we did an episode a couple weeks ago called uh, I'm, I, I Got High with Cypress Hill. Yeah. yeah. So, so I go into this story about smoking this joint with Cypress Hill. And I was just like, I know family members like watch my Facebook and Instagram and shit. And I'm just like, eh, should I tell this story or not? You got to give should people they be, what they want. Yeah. And it's and, my life at the yeah. end of the day. So, and should they be surprised at that point? Like, honestly, yeah. no, I no, mean, really, no, because who you are online is different than who you are as the person. Like, yeah, uh, you're, you're, you're one of the, again, I was your director in range 15. Mm -hmm. You were one of the friendliest most hardworking people there is. Thank you. Who is nothing like, you know, the crazy videos. That's because of Becky get. Mandeville. Yeah, yeah it's because yeah. of obviously <laughs> Becky Mandeville. And when I saw her at the premiere, I thanked her for that. I was like, hey, Becky Mandeville, you did a great job. Ross, did that, great job. that didn't make her day, week, or month. That made her year right there. I mean, it was. Friends it. reference. Oh my gosh, like I've that. never seen my mother smile like that. I'm telling you, I've never seen my mother so giddy and smiling oh like that God. before. And I had a lot of friends growing up that were the Eddie Haskell kiss asses. I never. I never, I mean, that was so genuine the way yeah, you talked yeah, to my yeah, mother. She, yeah. she absorbed it all. I, she was great. Yeah. She was great. And uh, you were fantastic in the film. Thank you. Um, and look, you, you're fantastic at what you do. I, again, I love your videos. I love all your sketches that you do. Um, so I'm sure at this, at this point in your life, you're probably thinking to yourself, holy shit, this is a, this is a crazy life transition uh, to pick up and move out of North Carolina to go to Washington, D.C. But I, I, you I have no doubt you, you, you'll be flooded with offers soon. Thank so you. Um, I'm looking forward to, to seeing what you do next. And uh, to anybody out there who's watching, go to Jack Mandeville's Instagram mm -hmm. page or, or, or Facebook. Yeah. Uh, it's entertaining as shit. Um, we, we, we did some weird sketches together. We did a homeless sketch. Oh, in, yeah, in LA. in L.A. I love L.A. <laughs> Down, back when on Instagram where uh, your, your uh, songs were getting flagged like crazy. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I, I, uh, maybe we could still sneak really some Randy Newman in there. I, I remember waking up uh, in Los Angeles. What were we doing? ADR there for yep. Range 15? Yeah, you went and took a nap. and I, I was taking a nap because I, I was exhausted. Like, yeah. I was working fucking 19-hour days. And I just remember you coming in saying, Hey, I think I'm gonna go take a camera and just shoot a bunch of homeless people around LA, and I just need you for one moment. And I was like, 
all right, cool. I didn't even question anything with my eyes. I was just like, all right, cool. I'll get up and I think I was like, what do you need? And you're just like, I just need you popping up behind the couch saying, I love LA. And I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. You come back. And then you drove by that guy too. The yeah, guy oh, yeah, sleeping yeah, on the that's ground. Right. Yeah. Come back two hours later. You would have full sketch built edited already up and ready to put online with randy newman scoring i love la and it was the worst homeless people like coughing yep and sneezing <laughs> just drinking 40s on the side of oh, sunset God. it was yeah. so, so funny because that's that's what la is yeah, yeah. It, and the, the most beautiful nicest hippest parts it, it doesn't matter like where a, it is you can't yeah, escape homeless people in that no. in that city yeah. venice in particular california yeah super trendy. which is where my roots are so yeah. yeah yeah venice venice california is super trendy now like most of the houses go for about two million dollars but they, they have a really bad homeless problem yeah. and they want to overlook it they're like oh god like it's so fucking liberal la where it's just like yeah. oh god we want to live in we want to live in a place that used to be shitty and build it up, but we don't want the homeless people here anymore. And you're just like, oh, okay. Yeah, they're All like, the right. homeless are really becoming a problem. It's like, no, they've been there. They've been there for you 30 decided. years. You decided <laughs> yeah. to move here. You yeah. wanted to gentrify. And put a yeah. $2 million yeah. dollar so. house. So now they've got these homeless people sleeping in front of their $2 million dollar homes on the beach. And you're just like, and that's oh. How, and that's what Venice Beach is known for. I mean, everyone Forever. knows. You, yeah. and back, yeah. in the, back in the 90s, you were going to find needles in the sand there. Like, oh, it was yeah, even yeah, worse. Yeah. It used yeah. to be. Now it's. It's gorgeous. Now yeah. it's like trendy restaurants and bars and you know, fuck my office was down there. You saw that. Yeah. That office was amazing. It was um, and right down the street from Duncan. Yeah, it was the uh, J- Jesse's trying to make 90 <laughs> sayings happen again in case you, you haven't Do noticed. Do you have any like 90 sayings? That's mint. No, yeah, that's, yeah. Man, that's a good one. Isn't Hers was one? uh that that's that's the bomb.com. Oh Remember yeah. The yeah. Bomb.com. Yeah. Like just cringe worthy nineties. All the uh, whatever oh, major whatever. loser. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh yeah. I, I think I, I think whatever still still around the bomb.com. Not in was that just like, way. Or you look foin. She was foin. Yes. Yeah, Remember was, when they were Oh yeah. 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 I was slinging that out in yeah. junior high. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, I thought of a really like really cringeworthy one i don't know if you guys will remember it yeah go ahead but do you remember when you would say like did you stab like for for having sex yeah uh i you know i never said it was horrible i never said it but yeah. i remember hearing it did i never i never i never went with did you stab oh. I, but i remember uh a buddy of mine had a station wagon they called it the stabbing wagon um so okay he was you but know. if you're literally just asking someone outright if you stab. Hey, did you stab? Oh. I think after OJ, it kind of took the stab out of things. We were like, yeah. Ah. yeah, he really did. He, he ruined really a lot did, of things. He really yeah. did kill that phrase. <laughs> I know. Such a shame. Um, Such a shame. But, uh, anyway, sorry. I'm we just... got. We look. We, we got some sponsors who pay for this to be on the air. I, look, I was drinking Strike Force at, at the 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 get go because um, I needed it today. I needed it for Jack Mandeville. I needed it for I Becky know. Mandeville. I, know. I needed it for the Mandeville family. So we'll start off with Strikeforce. Uh, Strikeforce.com is is revolutionizing the game of energy drinks. They got a, a tasty, tiny little tin pouch. Uh, again, uh-oh, don't look, Jesse. I'm, I'm putting a few more squirts oh in there. Uh, kick the can, kids. You don't need a can anymore. It all comes in this tiny pouch, and you just squirt it in any type of, of, of liquid available. I'm talking about waters, beers, liquors, liqueurs. Uh, let, let's say you're, you're going with some Covassier. Boom. Throw a little Strike Force in there. It'll Ooh. keep you going. Uh, go to StrikeForceEnergy.com. They ship everywhere in the entire world. They have a subscription of the month club, and they got a, a 750 milliliter bottle. So you can just boom, boom, pump that out uh, and get the fuck out the door. Go to StrikeForceEnergy.com, type in the promo code REVOLUTION, you get 20% off. Again, the promo code is REVOLUTION, you get 20% off. Next up, we got StraightRazors.com. Boy, fan fave. We love them. Fan fave, love straight razors. Have you ever shaved shaved with a straight razor before? I have not. Oh my gosh. It is the finest shave you will ever have in your entire life. Um, it's, It's old school. It's like Tombstone. Yeah, yeah. Where you're just, and it lasts longer. Where you're like, oh fuck! It I, seems crazy, but once you actually once you start do doing it, it, uh, it, it, it you're you're amazing. literally kind of looking at almost an extra day of like smooth shaveness, and it's and it's gonna be good for my skin because yes. I, I got yes. sensitive skin. Yeah, well, the thing is, they have uh, they have aftershave, mm. um, and their their aftershave is the fucking best. It's called Smolder, and it seeps into your pores, so it burnt you know yeah. it burns for a little bit, and you're like, oh man, I like this. Yeah, so it seals everything up. Uh, I, I use that every day, um, and then they've uh, they've got the shaving cream, which is the fucking shit as well. So, I, I, look, I'm I recommend it because then you can sharpen it up yourself. But they give you a belt with it, which is fucking dope. Their shaving kits are amazing. So it's like, all right, 
I haven't had to buy razors in like. So this is something I can join while I'm driving home on my phone. On oh yeah, freeway, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 So like, I haven't had to buy razors in I think like four or five months. Yeah. Um, I just I just use a straight razor now. Which like, is can you even crazy. see my mustache at all? No, gone. <laughs> and it's crazy because I'm gone. you're Italian, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. No. Well, what are you Italian? Why well, are you putting a in the douche? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the douche in the gadouche. <laughs> um. Yeah. yeah. Very Italian. So uh, <laughs> go look. Go to straight razors. Dot com uh, for the the best fucking shaving experience in your entire life. Type in the promo code at Revolution. You get twenty percent off all their shit, and it's classy as fuck too. They've got like shampoo and conditioner and all that stuff. Uh, last but not least, we got a night she cries while he rides his steed. The first ever romance novel for dudes. Jabe's, can I get a horse noise? <laughs> oh, uh, boy. Jack, do you? I do it so. Do you bad. do a better horse noise? Uh, let's give it a shot. <laughs> I like oh, that. Yeah, that better. was so Thank much you. better. Better. Yeah. better, yeah. Yours is yours Am still I needs fired work. Or eh, I, look, I broke the glass ceiling with you, and it's like now if I if I fire you, I'm gonna get a sexual harassment suit. Right. Um, I almost feel like you're interviewing maybe for my replacement. Right could now. be. Okay. Could okay. be. So step it up. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? You're uh, you are always step it up. on the guillotine. That's um, true. You're always on the chopping it. block, Jay. I feel it too. I broke the yeah. glass ceiling <laughs> with what what it did is I hired a female producer. Um, first ever to do it in the business. I, I don't, you know, I, and it was right after Hillary Clinton lost too. Right. Cause she so was, was going to break that glass ceiling and it was like, you. Oh yeah, yeah. She's kind of like the Kelly Ann Conway of the whole shit. I did it first in the podcast world. Uh, I've, t- I've she's made a lot of mistakes. Um, yeah, a lot of mistakes in the show. Like but I don't, you can't get rid of her. You can't get, well, not yet. So. Yeah. I think he's trying really hard. So, you know, we I get just a lot gotta... of hashtag glass ceilings yes. on our Instagram and Facebook page where it's just like, ah, and pretty she much made another everything, mistake. Yeah, everything I say gets corrected by our viewers, which right, you know, yeah. right now well, they're viewers writing. and listeners. Yes, yeah. Jack. Well, with jackmanville.com, the upcoming website, sure. uh, if you need an HR rep or anything like that, I can, you can do you, that. If you as want well? a contract with me, yeah. Perfect. And then I can Jack. take care of the situation. Yeah. Jack. Yeah. I thought we were buds. I thought we were cool. Yeah, because because well, obviously it's, a it's not personal no, at that point. Business. Yeah, it's business. It's you business. Guys, you guys, it's right. You're right. You it, know what I mean? It's, it's just, just whoever right. is the best person for the job. Yeah, is yeah. Pretty much. Wow. Whatever. You, did you just pull your tits up? No, no, no. I'm just whoever's the best person. Sure, sure, sure. You know what I mean? Sure. Whether it's me, whether it's yeah, 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 I yeah, don't yeah, know. yeah. Tits for the audience. Yeah, you get it. American flag and tits for the audience. Uh, by the way, go go pick up a copy of A Night She Cries while he rides his steed. Available in bookstores everywhere and Amazon.com and all the dot coms or audible.com. Except for bomb.com. Oh, <laughs> the bomb.com. He hates it so much. He hates it so much. So much. How many times can you inject that into this? I try. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try. A lot. A lot. Uh, we're we're going to get to one of, the, one of the top stories of the day, Jack, since you're here. Mm-hmm. Um, and I figure you know a lot about this just based on your appearance, um, your physical appearance. Mm. You have a rapey vibe. Oh, thank a, you. A very rapey I've been hearing vibe. that since I was like 13. So right. it hasn't given me like a weird complex like a, at all. Like a pedophile yeah. or like yeah. a rapish type vibe. Mm-hmm. Um, the, a man got caught masturbating on a Delta flight yesterday. Uh, and Sorry. not united, by the way. <laughs> not you know, Well, United had another problem. Well, yeah, yeah. Yesterday. But I'm just saying. But we'll, and we'll once, get to that. For once. Uh, for once. Well, for an hour. It was it was another airline um, yeah. before the fucking bunny died on the United flight, which we'll whoa, get to. Whoa. Um, I don't want to I don't want to hop over this one. Nailed it. Um, but this guy Stole got it. caught jacking off on a Delta flight and he was switching seats. So he was going up to passengers that he wanted to jack off next to penis exposed Dick the whole face. shit. Yeah. The crew didn't do anything about it. However, they did alert. Uh, and they were flying into Detroit. Weird. Um, because the, yeah, everybody in Detroit's super. You would never guess that. No, um, no. Totally sane city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the crew did nothing to stop it or prevent it. And neither did any of the passengers. They didn't want to catch shit. Yeah. I, what are you, what the, are you catching shit There's got to be for? one person on that uh, plane, a man or a woman, but... Who can man up at that point? And maybe silly, at the very least say something yeah, about that. You would, yeah. I think. W- yeah. I'd be like, buddy. You know, yeah, they're this, you know, go to the bathroom like a normal person does on right. an airline and do Don't that. Make yeah. Me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but this this woman, uh, she had a she, look, she had a 15 year old daughter behind Oof. her. Um, so therefore, she didn't want this man sitting next to her. So yeah, she almost had to give up the seat next to her and, and 
let this happen and kind of move like I mean, it's really fucked. She's, she's suing for damages, obviously. Absolutely. And what's crazy uh, is... They arrested the man when they got to the airport, um, but he had his penis. The other passenger said he had his penis exposed. No cell phone footage. Uh, throughout the flight. I don't know, because this, this, uh, this, uh, this, is, this is brand new okay. right now. So uh, whether or not somebody's got footage of it, I would imagine, right? And that's the thing is nobody stopped it, but I would imagine someone whipped out a cell somebody, phone. Somebody. Yeah. Somebody's got to have footage of, of this guy. Um, because is it that's, weird that I would be offended if he didn't like want to like I see him doing this with all these other people and then I'm like hello yeah 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 <laughs> Do you know what I mean they like, don't like you want to jack off next kind, to me well, yeah it's just kind of was like, he like not staring fair people to down yes people oh. like that yeah 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 I mean he was making eye contact the whole shit and that's you know that's what he's into has that ever happened to you out in public uh yes I've seen some the weirdest thing I ever saw was when I was a little baby Marine, 19 years old, uh, taking the Amtrak down from L.A. back down to San Diego. Uh, I forget what it's called, the, the concrete canals around oh, L.A. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw a homeless guy. Again, I'm 19. Other than boot camp, I, 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 this is my first time out of the Midwest, really. I'm in L.A. <laughs> like, I'd already spent a weekend soaking that t- city up. Sure, but, sure. Um, no, uh, we're we're coming out of uh, the main train station there in L.A. and on the side of this concrete uh, slab there, uh, just a couple homeless guys sitting right next to each other, just jerking off, just oh, just looking at the train go by. And wait, they were sitting next to each other, side by they're side. They're just sitting right next That's to each other. A side by side JF set. Yeah, yeah. Wow. To a train. Maybe they were. I mean, they're homeless. They have a lot of time on their hands. Maybe they were bored. Maybe there was a yeah, little competition yeah, yeah. that they do with each other. So yeah, yeah I don't yeah. know. Yeah, but I, rem- I at night. I went to Iraq three times. I, I rarely think about that place, but that image is <laughs> seared into my brain. Your real PTSD is from yeah. those two homeless men jacking off. Came from off two homeless men jacking off. Yeah, uh, in oh, L.A. Yeah. What, what about you, James? Have you ever seen anything like that in public? Like I said, um, I'm a little bit offended to say, like, yeah, that I nobody have, has. Like, yeah. no one has. Right. All my friends have the story of like, oh, the guy next to them in the car, like, just whipping it out. Uh, I've been roofied. It's just like not. fair. Fair, right, you know right, I mean? right. Well, we can like work real on stuff. that. I can roof well, you, and we can figure it out. Right, know? but well, we I don't have, have, have any night, of that. S- any of those stories of like, yeah, I came back from the store, and he was just ju- the guy next to me was just jerking off. Like, yeah. is there something wrong with me? Yeah, I think it's you. I think it's you Do on you know this what one. I mean? Um, so look, so you, if you keep your so feet so on the ground and keep reaching for the stars, eventually it's going to happen. Uh, it's yeah. not an overnight thing. Yeah. Um, so give it time. Give it time. Mm-hmm. My, my, mine was actually in L.A. as well. My of L.A. Course. story was uh, on Sunset. Uh, there, well, it used to be a Tower Records. Like, a, you know, it was infamous. Like, whenever they show that driving shot on oh, Sunset yeah, yeah. Boulevard. Like, By top, UCLA there, right around uh, that area? No, not, not even close to okay. that. Um, like, you're probably 20 minutes away from that, Jack. It was in Hollywood, um, right? It, it was, was in Hollywood. Big, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, building, Tower. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And there, uh, across long. the street from it was a House of Blues. There was a House of Blues, and then there was a, a Woody Harrelson put in an oxygen bar on the corner, oh. and that was a thing for a while. Um, right. So you're you're in the heart of Sunset Strip. There's nowhere to go, uh, and then a homeless man. But literally, like, because there's a, a four way stop. There's a, a, a lights intersection. The whole thing. He waited till at, like it was just packed mid afternoon. Stood up, pulled down his <laughs> pants, uh, took them off, all the way his, off. Took his shirt all the way off, uh-huh. uh, spread eagle jack, and just uh, like he was just, working on a railroad, cranking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he was, he was working on like just a fucking like an old school Chinaman working on a railroad. Right. You're just like God damn it, man. I mean, crushing it, and people were just like, ah, 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 because there's businesses. Right. It's a big, big foot traffic section as well. Um, and it was just That'd be traumatizing. Like again, I just, uh, but he won. Traumatizing. I even looked away. He and won. Usually, like what I, he won? Yeah, he yeah. won. Yeah, oh, he, he won the he, day. He won yeah. the day for sure. <laughs> he won. Sure. He he has nothing. He has no valuables on this planet. He has nothing except in that moment yeah. he controlled everyone's emotions that day. Yeah. He had it. all power. And to this yeah. day, like, so true. I don't. Jesse will tell you. I. I uh, if there's weird fucked up videos on the internet, I watch them. Mm-hmm. Like I'm the person who's just like, this is as soon as it says, this is too graphic to watch. Like people getting their heads cut off, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. I'll watch it just cause I want to know. Um, and it doesn't bother me. Yeah. But that singular moment was just, I, I and it was the intensity that he was using. Like it was, it seemed like too much force. Like he was dry, uh, just like it was uh, hurting. Uh, it was yeah. Hurting yeah. Himself. Yeah. Like he needed to get it out. And I was just like, Oh my God. And like, 
I could I had the windows rolled up and I could hear him grunting through the windows. So I and I had to turn up the music in my car because I'm stuck at this light, so I have nowhere to go. Uh, He's right there on, on it was on, on a bus bench um next to me, and I was just like, oh my, there's nowhere for any of us to go. So I'm just turning uh up the music, and it was like Dr. Dre's new song came out. I even remember the song. Um uh, so I, I, the whole how long you'd, had you been in LA at that point at that point I would say maybe six months okay so you were still I mean that was fresh still for you still new yeah. and I was so, like and but and I and I'd lived in New York before that so I'd moved okay. from New York to LA I still didn't see anything that fucked up in New York like New York is uh, often seen as a dirtier city than Los Angeles when it's not the case um, New York is cleaned up like you don't see it's too true. many homeless. Thanks, Rudy. Right. Um, I, I look, a lot of places now. I mean, I, I, you don't see too many homeless. There's too many nice restaurants and places, and like people don't put up with that shit in New York. So it's like if somebody was jacking off in New York, that somebody would have popped part out. Of, beat, like I said, like part of the fun the of New York though was like seeing, you know, seeing the guy shit on the subway. You know what I mean? Like that's why a lot of people go. Right. That, right. I, you want to have that story. Yeah. You're, you're you know going what I mean? To, yeah, I'll be to. there for four days. And I've never really got to enjoy New York before. So Take I, the subway. Take yeah. the subway. Enjoy New York. Get just, you a story. Well, Tell me if it's happening Find anymore. yourself a story, Jack. I'm going to have a lot of downtime. So yeah. I just literally <laughs> may just cover the entire city on that subway. Why not? And, just yeah, hopefully. looking for people just shit in yeah, the yeah. street You want to spend, and I always tell, like I, t- I told you on the phone yesterday, you want to spend at least uh, three days so three whole days mm-hmm. at Ellis Island. Yeah, just researching family history. <laughs> just looking up your family yeah. history. Uh, just because a, a lot of people take the Statue of Liberty for granted. Yeah. Um, uh, don't. Spend the full three nightmare. days there. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of people just visit. They take the ferry over and it's part of a tourist thing and you're there for a couple hours. Camp out. Yeah. Take a tent. You, what you want to do is catch that morning ferry mm-hmm. and then don't go back for like two days. All day, not until I find that name, Giovanni Mandevilli in there. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and you want to go through... <laughs> all of the history and then obviously document it and talk to the mm-hmm. people and uh i i don't Take i don't the feel tours i don't feel you can them. get the real new york experience mm-hmm. without spending three full entire days at the statue of liberty i've got my yankees so. hat and my hawaiian shirt packed so Beautiful. i'm ready to blend to in oh yeah God, you're good please. to go yeah uh are you taking united out there are you driving I'm not. I'm taking Delta Airlines. Okay. Yeah. So maybe I can see some weird shit before I even get there. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. look, uh, the guy jacking off was on Delta, and then then United, boy, they can't escape the headlines. <laughs> they can't. Like it goes from Doctor Dow, uh, Doctor Dow getting the shit kicked out of him, um, ripped off that flight. To then you had the woman uh, with the baby stroller who got she had her baby. She was trying to put a stroller in the the guy. The, the flight attendant Strong yanked arm. it, stronged armed her, jacked her in the head with a stroller. She's crying. I, I will say this. They did put her in first class after that, like hoping, like, please don't press another suit. Please don't press another suit. What did she do? She calls up old Dr. Dow's attorney. So now they're being repped by the same attorney. And he's uh, getting really familiar with United at this Real point. familiar. Yeah. <laughs> and I can imagine... Uh, the bunny lady is on line one right now for that same attorney for what happened yesterday. In case you didn't hear at home, the the world's largest bunny died uh, on a on a United flight. Simon Simon's the bunny's name. Um, oh, all right, Simon. all right, R.I.P. Simon. Simon. Uh, and some of you might be saying to yourself, "How big is the world's largest bunny? How how big is it? It's three feet." It yeah. was a three a three foot bunny, a three foot long bunny. We have a we have a three year old child mm-hmm. who I don't believe is three feet tall. No, um, not yet. No, no, but the bunny is. Right. This bunny, and we're gonna for for the video show, we're gonna pop a picture of it up at home. Um, uh, for those of you listening in the audio show, uh, look it up online. Look up look up Simon, the the world's largest bunny. This is a gigantic fucking bunny. Uh, it was ten months old. Oh, and young, oh, young bunny. Baby. Yeah. yeah, way, baby. way too young baby. to lose. And a, domesticated, lose a bunny I assume. Like no. uh, look, look, the bunny could speak four languages. Oh. Um, uh, can't was not housebroken. Couldn't, you know, obviously use the, the restroom yet. Can we put up the Jessica Rabbit picture of her? Oh, oh, of of the the woman who breeds these. Yeah, bunnies. because she's a professional breeder, so she ships bunnies all around the world all the time. That's that's part of her life. Uh, Which is somebody, not somebody weird or creepy at all. No, yeah. and somebody in America wanted this bunny as a pet, so it was being shipped in. I, I bought a, I bought my dog like that, because um, a lot of people are like, oh, 
Get a rescue? No. I, like I wanted to know what the what it looks like. You did rescue. I rescue. I rescued my dog from an expensive breeder in <laughs> yeah. Texas. So we they, don't know what they were doing there. Wait, you know, but they shipped it in on a United flight, uh, yeah. and the the dog lived. Right. Dog lived. Dog was happy when it got there, and uh, Regal Beagle's still with us to this day. Um, however, this picture. bunny, a three foot bunny that a, a gentleman in America paid a lot of money for, because let's be honest. You pay for the world's largest bunny. It's going to set you back a pretty penny. Do you think? Do you think he did that because he just wanted a nice con- conversation starter at parties, or that's like, what are you I wonder. monetizing that bunny? Yeah. That's what I wonder. Like, uh, or do you have kids and you're like, hey, this would be a fun thing to have the world's largest bunny. Like, great. So somebody you could else. rodeo with that thing with small children. You can do a lot of things yeah. with it. Oh. Um, but you, you know, like you always get your your children's stuffed animals. This is a real live gigantic stuffed animal that's that's alive and it's a fucking bunny. They're nice. It's not going to do anything. Have you guys ever had rabbits before? Bunnies? No. Did you have a rabbit growing yes, up? Yes. H- how not, is it? They're not nice. <laughs> really? They're very, yes. They're hardcore. And those back, like, I've had my stomach completely scratched up by trying to hold a fucking normal size. And they nip too, right? They nip and, that, and they'll just like scratch the shit out of whoever's trying you're to hold You're kidding them. me. No, they're actually not great. Wow. Uh, so if you're going to, if you're thinking of getting a three foot bunny, bunny yeah, for yeah, your yeah, child, yeah. you can say goodbye to your child. Fun fact. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. A lot, a lot of people well, wouldn't. You know, yeah. I'm going to use that a as a bunny, conversation starter. Yeah, you should. bunny owner is, is very specific. Do you know what I mean? Like people that have rabbits. But oh, I, yeah. I feel like you know I, I, mean? I, like feel like I see it online a lot where like parents get their kids a rabbit. But you're right. I don't ever see that rabbit grown up. Mm-mm. Do they like, are they over having the rabbit at that point? Let me answer it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, it's, Let me get it. Whatever happens on the show. Happens. Hey, mom, I got to call you back. We're doing a podcast. Fuck uh, you, mom. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the first time I never, I, I, I Listen, don't have it turned fine. off. It's fine, moving on. Uh, but but I, I never see any of these people with, like, as adults being like, oh, hey, I still have my bunny. Mm-mm. Still, no. I still got my I bunny. I can't imagine the life expectancy is that great to begin with. It's not. Of a bunny? Yeah. How long do bunnies last? I don't know. We got rid of ours. Okay. Well, that's my point. Like, I've never yeah. seen it online, like, any, any adult with a bunny where you're like, oh, hey. Mm-hmm. Um. But that being said, this rabbit was only 10 months old. When they opened up the door on United, everybody I, apparently for United was like, oh, no. Um, uh, oh, like God. you could smell it or I mean. Don't know. But they knew the bunny was dead. And they, and they definitely did not knew it was need that on their fucking. Dead. Yeah. And they were like, oh, shit. Because, look, you order a three foot bunny. You, you order the world's largest bunny uh, and it dies on your flight. That's no regular bunny. No. That's that is a, a special bunny. That is, is a there special a world bunny. Where this lady did something for this to happen? Or no, is it she really she claims united? she claims she's like, dude, I ship. She ships bunnies all over the world for okay. a living. That's what she does. Okay. Um, and good on her. You know, she's spreading joy throughout the world. Uh, every Easter, I'm sure business is booming. That's true. Um, but that being said, now this this bunny dies on a flight. Does that destroy her business? And we know she's gonna sue. Uh, yeah. So how did the how did the bunny die? This is a mystery, Jack. That you know, uh, oh, a lot of people want to get to the bottom of. What do you what do you, what do you think, Jack? I mean, I, I can only imagine uh, the pain and suffering. The pain and suffering went through down there. I would imagine it had something to do with oxygen. Maybe maybe the, like they're used to having cats and dogs down there. Maybe sure. maybe bunnies maybe, need a different yeah. level of oxygen somehow, sure. and they didn't they didn't. Um, but when you're when you're flying animals, you know what that is, and that this time of year, it's not like it's especially cold. The bunny was coming from London to Chicago. Um, Fairly long flight. That's uh, a really long. Flight. Also, also want to point out Chicago, ironically, is where Doctor Dow got got ripped off the goddamn plane. Um, there, is there it, could is be it some the sort United of s- crew in Chicago. There's, yeah. there's a lot of we got a lot of questions. We don't have a lot of answers right now. No, but that we can bunny speculate. died on the in the air. Don't in the air, think? yes. The bunny died I'm in the sure air. Sure, the bunny died in the air. Yes. So, okay, it could be an oxygen thing. Uh, I, I don't know, but the rest of the animals lived. There were some other animals on the flight. They lived. The bunny died. Again, that's eighteen to twenty. How long is that flight? Eighteen hours. Uh, from London to 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 uh, O'Hare. I don't I mean, want to get it O'Hare. Wrong. I don't know. Yeah, I would imagine I there, there could it, it could have been natural causes when you think about it because you, you see these guys like Andre the Giant who's just so huge his body sure. just couldn't take it anymore and like, like Andre the Giant we're talking that's a that's a huge animal. Maybe Andre the Giant still lives you know 
Uh, into, into his fifties. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he made a long, and he was very abusive towards himself. But yeah. Uh, well, you know. Well, I you heard have to rumors. Be. That oh yeah. The, I heard rumors that the bunny was not living the best lifestyle. Yeah. So oh, now yeah. we're gonna. Go they for were him. actually yeah. yeah. Chicago was maybe a rehab situation that was happening. So the he bunny was gonna go to rehab before the owner. Time. How do you? What do you mean? Why? Did, my, how did the bunny die? I mean, what the fuck are we talking about? My question is this: <laughs> the douche, uh, the douche. <laughs> yeah. My question is this: because I, again, I, I had a dog shipped um, from Texas to LA, uh, but they tell you what time the dog is getting in, and you have to go and meet it at a special terminal or whatever. And it's like there is this moment of a, a, excitement as an owner of like, oh my gosh, I'm go- oh. I'm going to drive to pick up my thing. So what do you think that thinking. guy was thinking when he pulled up and they were like, hey man? Um, oh. God. You know he that three brought foot his bunny. daughter with you have him. to pay for the flight. I, I had to pay for the flight right. to L.A. for my dog. This guy had to pay for a flight from London to Chicago. That's not that's not a cheap airfare. Does he get his money back? <laughs> I don't oh, <laughs> I mean, he'll probably sue. Some t- I mean, there's going to be all kinds of lawsuits. There's going to be all kinds coming. of lawsuits. What I know is this. Is Simon is dead. And yeah. um, I, look, I want, I want, I want answers. You want answers, and I actually, I'm sorry. I want. I don't answers. know if you're gonna get the answers that you. This could be a new like Harambe movement right here. Well, oh. the death of Simon. Yeah. Carrots yeah. out. Carrots out. Yeah. Carrots, carrots for out Simon. for Simon. <laughs> <laughs> get your Rabbit's foot out for, yeah. for oh, Simon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, There's a lot of money to to make here on yeah, this. Yeah, I think, I think <laughs> there is. Um, because I once we well, again, on. let, and let's flash the picture of this bunny again uh, for the for the viewers at home. Um, because it, once you see this thing fucking stretched out, it is it is a goddamn sight. Yeah. Where it's like, holy shit, that's the most impressive bunny I've ever well, seen. Well, people in my see dogs life. that size, and they're like, ah, I can't handle that. No, yeah. too much dog. Yeah. This yeah. this was a this was a big bunny. Yeah, and this was a big bunny that we're all gonna miss a lot. Um. So if, if we can, if we can, Jesse, I, I don't want to put you on the spot. Can you say a few words about the bunny? Um, sure. Sure. You guys. Yeah. Um, you want to start off with dearly, dearly beloved, obviously for, for Prince. Dearly beloved. Dearly beloved, love, love, love. We, we are gathered here today. Yeah, yeah. I love how he like asked me to do it. And then he just like, I'm not going to just, it. just say a few nice words about Simon the bunny, please. Well, again, he was trying really hard and he had some demons and he had some you know, issues that we all do, but he was trying really hard to overcome them and he was trying to start a new life in <laughs> Chicago. And it's just so tragic when people are trying to turn it around and, and they, I can't, guys, I'm sorry. Oh boy. I can't. Yeah. You want us to give you a moment? It's just tragic when people are trying to turn their life around and it just gets cut short. And they don't get to do it. Yeah. Like Dudley yeah. Moore. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Boy, you got really choked up over this. Oh, you know, I hate bunnies. Yeah. Yeah, you do. They're fucking mean, you guys. And if anyone's <laughs> sad about this, like, this is not something that was going to be great for whoever bought this fucking thing. Oh, like, that... his life was saved. Meryl, his... Meryl Streep can eat two dicks after that performance. Because <laughs> um, that was phenomenal. Yeah. That was absolutely phenomenal. Bunnies suck. Bunny owners are fucking weird. Like, yeah. let's just move on. Yeah, we can move on. Let's like, ditch don't it. keep a bunny or a but lizard. But let's in your go. House. If you're at home, let's go carrots out for Simon. Uh, let's go carrots let's out for try Simon. Try and make this happen. Let's try to make carrots out for Simon let's happen. Try and Hashtag make it carrots. Happen. Have you ever had a pet die, Jack? Yes. What happened? Well, I, I had a large collection of goldfish as a child and lizards, but as far as now, when you real say, pets. When you say large goldfish-wise, yeah. <laughs> how, how big was the school? No, I They're had... called a school. How, how big was the school of, of goldfish? That oh, you I had? only had one at a time, yeah. And I, I was not able to maintain their lives. So then, of course, I'd go oh. get it. You flush Becky, them and then you start over. Becky would go get another one for okay, me. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> so it was, th- it, was, it was one at a time. You didn't yeah. have like a large school of fish that you were continuously killing. No, no, okay. absolutely not. Yeah, um... What about a dog? Anything like that? Dog, yeah. Did That's you lose the one. A dog? Oh, I lost a dog. Did yeah. you cry? Made me cry. Just, oh, yeah. Just like the, the Jabler the, 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 went down. Oh, yeah. Uh, it what was happened? waterworks. Uh, you know, I'll tell you, the, you know, I've, I've probably teared up, gotten my brother died a couple years ago, and I didn't even like cry, cry. You know what I mean? Really? I have a good job. I do a good job of holding things in. It's really sure. great. Did really you not healthy. Like your brother? Or? No, I loved him. But oh, it just, okay. uh, yeah, I just, I just. You don't cry. You're I, not a crier. When I want to hold in my emotions i'm able to do it with that dog the last time that i bawled my eyes out was 2006 or 2007 when i put her right. down uh what was the dog's name domino 
Domino. My okay. sweet, beautiful so you Domino. Had to, you had to sweet put sweet down Domino. Domino. Put down Domino, yeah. You had to push, you had to push, I, I, push over when Domino. When I left for the Marine Corps as a, at, at 18, I didn't expect that the dog was going to make it those four years. I, I came home and the dog made it another year. And then I, you know, reconnected oh, with wow. my childhood. Yeah, I yeah, had yeah. the dog since I was Did a kid. Did the dog miss you when you come back from the... Well, she, yeah, she, she recognized me. I mean, she knew me from when I was like eight or nine years old till, yeah. you know, 23. Aww. How long did the dog live? 13 14 years something oh, okay. like that yeah, oh, yeah a nice yeah. life yeah, uh nice but life, yeah. I, I again like again i had done the war thing and all that yeah. stuff like yeah. I, I had already been uh, i've gotten a glimpse of the way the world worked but taking that dog in and watching her life exit right there was like just i i, I lost were you it. in the room in the room yeah just you it's just me and my dad yeah oh, yeah man. and you know my dad's a guy that's just witnessed a lot of things in his life and it yeah. was tough on him too but Did he I, cry I don't, I don't remember. I don't think so. This, my dad's like, that's a guy that knows loss in his life. So I mean, that's probably where I, I probably learned it from him, how to gotcha. just contain emotion. But um, no, yeah, I was waterworks, waterworks. I Man. couldn't handle it. What about, what about you, James? About, there's something about putting it down, right? Like that act of like, you have to choose yeah. Yeah. to fucking do it, right? Yeah. That's, that's one, it's gotta be, as, at least as a Westerner, that's got to be one of the biggest burdens we have. Is <laughs> right? We're the ones that got to decide we when we choose. put our pooches down. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, well, because when you don't, I think it's better. A, a buddy of ours just had his dog pass away and uh, was out in the yard underneath his uh, favorite tree. Yes. And called for the dog. Dog didn't come in. Dog was, was looking at him. And he was like, oh, oh, fuck. Uh, the do- by the time he went up to the dog, like he realized the dog was dead, but it had died laying underneath its favorite tree in the yard. And he was just like, man, uh, that you can't write that. Yeah. Yeah. But it, having to put an animal down is, has yeah. gotta be hard. Cause you, you're, you're the one with them. Yeah. Uh, what about you, James? You, you lost an animal. I did. I have. Yeah. I don't want to bring the mood down too much, but my first pet, uh, was a Guinea pig. His name was Garbanzo. <laughs> Garbanzo the guinea Garbanzo pig. the guinea pig. Right. Yeah, I don't think that's weird or funny, but sure. Um, sure. Um, so, sorry. Well, to... I need to preface this by saying that my mom is a little bit um, strange. W- w- she's a little bit strange, a little bit hippie. She's also like a scientist, science BA in science and everything. So she kind of keeps like bird skeletons and like different things and skins like animals She's yeah, kind yeah of like yeah. a weird ah, you're woman. normal yeah you're normal normal Day-to-day. not like norman bates or anything like no, that no no we yeah. just have like a wall of death and it's all like different like very know. jane austen yeah no, yeah kidding. things in formaldehyde yeah. and skins yeah. squirrel yeah. skins and stuff like that just on one wall so i came home from school and she said that garbanzo had jumped out of the aquarium thing, whatever, that you keep him, and had broken his neck and died. And I can't see him. I can't see the body or anything like that. But is this, he is this did real? Die. This is real. So, but, but, she but told it, me, though. So I didn't see this. I didn't see the body. I didn't bury it. Right. So I'm like, okay, mourning the death of, I of don't Garbanzo. Act, yeah, but I don't actually. Like, she told me that that happened, but right. I just have to believe her. Sure. How old are you at this point? Um, I am maybe 12, 13. Okay, sure. So that, like you're, you're, too you're, you're young, still, but not too but, old. But young enough to believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah where yeah, you're just yeah. like, oh, okay. Like, but you're I also just... in that weird transition where you're dis- you know, you're discovering the real world. Right, sure, right. Sure, and like sure. what can really happen. Mm-hmm. And so maybe like six months after that, I was in the freezer just kind of looking for something to popsicles. heat up, popsicles, whatever. Pizza. And you know, like in people's freezer, there's just sort of like the random like, bags of dough or things that like old they're meats. using yeah, deer meat. Meat. it's yeah. like that's yeah. not what you're gonna use to cook up a snack but when you get desperate and there's like nothing in the freezer you're gonna start looking in those weird things and yeah. i open one of the bags and there there was garbage <laughs> in the ready freezer to fillet. no up at fucking me. way mom mom so did you did you fucking scream i was i screamed i dropped it just because it's a frozen guinea pig, right? Just oh my god! Hits the so floor. you heard it hit the floor? So, yeah, and I just like <laughs> I'm traumatized, right? Yeah. Talk about war and stuff like that. So I guess she, what happened was she was like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I was going to boil it and skin it and um, glue the skeleton together." You're <laughs> kidding oh me! God. But she never got round to it. Was, no, it, was that, was that going to be a the... gift for you or something like <laughs> no, that? No, yeah, it's yeah, just going to yeah. be like a scientific like anatomy experiment for my 
my mom. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucking weird. Yeah. Man. Becky Mandeville wouldn't do anything like that, would no. she? No. No, she'd just go out and get a new gerbil. She just And you guys would just, have like a nice burial probably. Yes. I, I grew it. up yeah. in the yeah. I was I was more leave it to beaver. You were more sure. Beverly um, Hillbilly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Fair assessment. Yeah. Um so yeah, that's just a, a little story that I have. Normal. I think Boy. everyone can Boy, and, uh, I uh, I lost a, a couple dogs. One got hit by a car, but again, I was told, and I was very young. You know, right. I was like two. So but they were like, they didn't do went, the whole. He went yeah, to the farm yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just told you straight up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other one was uh, I lost uh, another dog in like fourth or fifth grade. But I was uh, staying at my grandparents' house, and it happened. And they he ate something. The dog ate something poisonous in the backyard and died. And I remember uh, my my dad having to break it to me and my grandparents, and they were like. Your dog is dead. You know, it's just I'm crying or whatever. Uh, and uh, they were like, "Look, we'll we'll cheer you up. Let's just let's take you to a movie." Um, and I was like, "Great!" Uh, so we went. No, we we did we did. We went to a movie. And you know what that movie was? I'll never forget to this day. It was Karate Kid, actually. Oh, oh I know. I was. Like, I thought you were gonna say like old Yeller. I know. Or like like that. Yeah. nobody would do anything like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, but to this like Karate Kid was was a great enough film that it, it helped me overcome the death of it's my it's an awesome film yeah that'll take your mind off of yeah, anything yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, off of the death of my thing so it was uh, that was a, that was that was okay that's one of those that's one of those films that if, if it's if you're flipping through the channels or you're flipping through Netflix whatever yeah. and you see it like you're like I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this again. I'm okay with yeah. it. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Bomb.com. That movie. Oh god! <laughs> stop trying to make this happen. Like under any circumstance, please stop, stop trying, trying to make, to make Sorry, that, that I happen. Jack could be my little '90s. Oh, uh, your buddy. little your little bud on this mm, one. Sorry. Have you ever wanted to own an exotic animal? Yes. Uh, what, what, what's your what's your go to? What do you want? Uh, I went through this phase. I used to live in San Antonio. I used to go to the Sea World there, and. I, it's big sea world fan you yeah. see blackfish <laughs> oh my god yeah oh, after oh, yeah. blackfish you look back as a kid and you're like oh my god every time i was at sea world i feel you feel guilty those things are uh, they're just a, a step below human beings like they just don't have opposable thumbs that's I it i mean they are it's crazy with slavery yeah it's yeah. Slavery. <laughs> yeah um a lot of audience members at home are sure gonna be stoked at that comparison oh, that's the same as slavery oh yeah yeah um, well listen yeah, it's, we it's don't fine. care what the audience thinks go ahead yeah, yeah, actually, the, good, the good news is i don't have to read the comment section anymore yeah, for exactly. a living yeah Isn't that yeah horrible? i can say whatever i want with no repercussions yep yeah um no i but i got obsessed i really wanted a dolphin Really? Yeah, it's the gayest of that all the be, no, la- the sweet. mammals. Dolphins are badass, but yeah, like yeah. when you think of dolphins, yeah. you think of those t-shirts with the jumping out of the yeah. water with a rainbow in the back. <laughs> but dolphins, like they were just so intriguing to me. Sure. Like I just, I. Did you ever swim with them or do any of that stuff on vacation? Or? Fed them. I never got. No, I've never swam or <laughs> anything em. like that. Yeah. Like, just, fed them. I just fed them. Fed them. Yeah. Uh, to yeah. this day, is that also, still, is that still a thing? Would you like to own a dolphin one day? If yeah, if I had the means, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> just, I love the I want to be. I want to be in a position where someone else can do the paperwork. I, and the, re- the reason I ask you this is, I'll, I'll and I'll, I'll say mine next before we get to yours. Is uh, a, no. a, a friend of mine in the uh, in college was like, "Man, I've always wanted a, a pet alligator. I oh, always yeah. wanted a pet alligator." I was like, "All right, cool. That's that's a, it's kind of a weird animal." He's like, "No, no, no. But they're they're good if you keep them in these like fucking aquariums. You know, whatever. Get like a baby alligator." So he goes down to Louisiana and he gets one of those alligators. They were, it started off as like maybe 10, 10 inches long, this yeah. alligator. They're so cute, actually. No. Yeah, they they're are. like mini yeah. alligators. Yeah, they're like mini alligators. They have little ba- baby teeth and it's, sure. it's a fun thing. Um, so we, we, we had a guy who was uh, uh, like a science major, what the fuck, biology or whatever you would call it, and was like, hey, man, you realize that alligator is going to grow. It's not. They're not shrunken. It's not going to stay a baby alligator forever. And I was just like, ah, oh, it's fine. How, how big is it going to get? And he's like, well, you know, an alligator like this might get to like three feet long. And he mm-hmm. goes, but as it gets older, it's, it's also going to be extremely aggressive. And I wouldn't recommend you having it inside the fraternity house. Like people are going to start fucking with this thing and it's going to be... It's gonna be. It's gonna end up a, is a bad situation. Yeah, with the amount of drinking that goes on in there, it's a recipe for disaster. And everybody wants to yeah. see the alligator it's because you get fucked up. You start partying. You have sororities over, and everybody's like, "Oh man, I heard you guys have a bad alligator here." And I was just like, "We do. Uh. Come on up." And this dude was using it as like a pickup thing, you know, a nice conversation mm-hmm. starter, and was like, "Come on up to my room, see my alligator." Um, and so at God. the end of the night, we would go up, 
like and, and without fail every night people wanted to see this fucking alligator so we could go up and like as the months go on sure enough this alligator starts to get bigger um and my buddy was one of these dudes who was just like you know steroid jacked up for spring break always wanted to do the hot body contest guy so like by by you were lucky if that guy had a shirt on past past 10 p.m right just on, stabbing, it, on every just night stabbing yeah, all just stabbing all night <laughs> just dude. laying pipe yeah okay uh still yeah. still using 90s phrases still. Okay, go ahead. i don't think i didn't catch it so he's got his shirt off you know he's got these girls up there and he's like all right, you guys want to see the alligator and they're like yeah and he's like all right great Pulls out the alligator. And yeah, just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Close. Uh, we're getting there. So the alligator's bigger at this point. It's kind of it's kind of really moving around. Starting, to, starting yeah. to stand up for it's itself. It's no longer yeah. a one-hander. Yeah. It's no longer a one-hander alligator where it's just like, hey, man, you should probably keep another hand underneath the neck or something or whatever. And he's like, I've had this alligator for months. He knows me. I know the alligator. We're good to go. Right. Like, it's my fucking pet. You know, we're, we're friendly and alive. And it was just like, uh, he goes, I, I can do whatever I want with it. You know, puts it up, lays it on his chest, starts petting oh. it or whatever. You can see the alligator squirming. Mm -mm. And they were like, hey, you should probably put the alligator. <laughs> probably put the Bit his nipple off. Oh, my God. Bit oh. his nipple off. Uh, and then, and it, it didn't let go. So. It, it, it still stuck to him. Uh, we, we had to go to the hospital, call somebody. We had to pry open the mouth of the alligator because the jaws of a fucking alligator are extremely strong. Got to be. And especially a baby alligator, it's hard to get something inside the mouth of it to pry it open. Uh, I mean, it was, I would say, a good 10 to 15 that this alligator was on, on this fucking dude's nipple. And it, he had to get its own back on the whole shit and was like Dang. that right there ended my exotic oh i want an exotic ant no i don't want any goddamn exotic animals did that whatsoever. ruin the beach body contest for him at that yeah, point yeah what yeah what happened yeah yeah, yeah. I, he got the nipple looked normal after that like he got it sewn back on didn't ruin the the nothing stopped that guy from a hot body contest okay um, right he was thank god yeah it didn't yeah, take yeah. His i mean spirit. triple stacking like this guy, like, you know, he cycle sounds, after cycle. Yeah. He sounds like a sweetheart. But I will say this. Uh, no more girls wanted it. Like, they weren't interested in, you know, just hanging out in his room anymore. Like, sure. he didn't have the alligator. So he kind of lost the luster. He lost the shine off his life once that alligator left his Do life. Do you like me you know? for me? Or yeah. For or, my or, my, or my for my alligator. Yeah. Um, Tales so, old as time. Um, what about you? Exotic the animals? the dolphin thing? Well, I just want like an Egyptian lap elephant. But <laughs> if, is that a real thing? Yeah, I've seen them before. I'll just, I want one. But it's what? like a status thing, right? Like, if you what, had a dolphin, like, do you want to be at the, I'll just glaze over that. No, so if you were to, like, <laughs> would it be like a status thing? Of like, With a dolphin? Like, I ha I'm so rich, I can, like, have a dolphin, right? Yeah. Or an Egyptian yeah, yeah, yeah. lap no, elephant friendship. or whatever. No, it would be, I, I need it the friendship. It would just be friendship. No, I need the companionship. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of people okay. buy exotic animals to for be that, like, for I want to be I rich obviously, enough. I obviously <laughs> would brag about my dolphin, but it would be more, it would be for my, for music for me yeah. to have a dolphin you know yeah. i can go yeah, swimming yeah, yeah. with them and sure. sure uh but real quick i want to <laughs> i want to circle back uh to the egyptian, to the egyptian lap, lap elephant. elephant it's just like a tiny elephant just how big is the elephant it goes on your lap just like a little it, it looks like an real, actual is, it, is uh -huh. it a real elephant yeah yeah, yeah. Look, it's it a, <laughs> look it up pull that shit up the, the, i'm just joking i mean i don't know I, i've seen it before have you really? Is this a real thing? Because I don't know whether you're it, joking or not. Like it I, the Egyptians, the ancient Egyptians did some weird shit. This so. is some Egyptian, weird ass yeah. shit, right? And Lap so they elephant. bred, yeah. they bred an elephant, you know, to the point where they got it uh, miniaturized. It right? just Which seems is, like the last thing uh, that would go on your lap easily would be a, would be an elephant. Yeah, they're kickers. You think, but yeah. Uh, well, not, not yeah. only kickers, but they're heavy. Oh yeah, uh, like. I don't know. A, I don't know anybody who's like, oh, I've got this cute little twelve-pound elephant that just sits on my, on my and it lap. just it just slams pygmy, into pygmy elephant. Okay, how big are they? How big are the pygmy elephants? Well, I mean, it, it won't be on your lap, but as a baby. Sure. Yeah. What, what are if we looking at? If you get a baby at? pygmy right. elephant, it can. Maybe I should put this up on what's, the yeah. site. What's but, the ivory um, situation on what, those? What are, we, what are we looking at height and weight? So just oh, right, right, so. That's a little handheld elephant. Yeah, yeah. we should put that up. We should we'll post that. We'll put it that. up on the That's site. an actual thing. You. Um, So that's no big deal. That's what I want, but. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And for, and for what reason? Status or is that more for friendship? Yeah, that would be kind of a thing of like, I've made it. 
You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If, if you, you have a, a fucking pygmy elephant. You you have a little lap elephant like you've made it in this world. Just like, bring it out at parties just to establish yeah, yeah, yeah. dominance. Put yeah. a, little, yeah, yeah. a tiny little gold <laughs> yeah. chain on it. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can get a little bumper sticker for your car that says, I love my tiny elephant. And yeah, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. And have it be like a whole thing. It you might can join be like, like a club or a Facebook group of yeah. other tiny elephant owners. Sure, yeah. sure. The yeah. second half, it'll be like my identity. Do you know what I mean? She's yeah. the ele- pygmy elephant lady. Like a cool cat lady. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly, exactly. Uh, well, uh, I hope you achieve your dream one day, J- you. Jables, but that also Thank means you. that I have to live with it. So, <laughs> oh, well. um, and I'm not, well, cleaning, I'm be not able to cleaning it up after that goddamn thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can tell you that, uh, this is the point in the show where we get to the revolutionary figure of the day. Ooh. Um, ooh. Ooh. uh, we're talking this, this one goes back to 1902. Uh, our, uh, our, our revolutionary figure of the day is Beatrix Potter. Uh, who created a fictional animal uh, called Peter Rabbit. Mm-hmm. Peter Rabbit. Uh, oh, Beatrix Potter. Way to go, Beatrix. Um, I hope, I hope Simon uh, becomes the next Peter Rabbit after this, but uh, we'll see. Carrots out. Carrots out for Simon. Carrots out for Simon. Uh, Jack Mandeville, thanks for stopping by the thanks show. We really appreciate here. it. Uh, it was a, it, it was a fun one. Yeah. Do uh, we need to plug anything? Okay. So his yeah. Your you want to pl- plug your Instagram? Absolutely. Yeah. Facebook. Follow me on Instagram at Jack Mandeville. M A N D A V I L L E. Yes. Uh, I'm on Twitter at R U underscore Jackman. Hey, follow me on Facebook. You can friend request me. Whatever you want to do. Follow my uh, my. Uh, do you my have business a fan page, page on, fa- on I Facebook? I do. Yeah. I do. I don't put a lot. I don't put a lot of focus on that you should now i should now i have yeah. nothing but time and and no <laughs> and no income so nothing but time. yeah <laughs> so yeah but uh, one of the most entertaining uh instagrams ever so yeah Thank give you. It well, a, one of the give most entertaining Lexi. humans yeah. on the planet we appreciate you being here uh for jables i am ross patterson this is the revolution and uh if you, if you get an egyptian lap lap elephant you want to send it into the show uh, we got a P.O. Box, P.O. Box 3793, Wilmington, North Carolina, 28406. Um, poke some holes in the box, though, because we want it to be alive. We want it to be alive. Yes. Um, if preferably. we get a fucking, by the way, if we get a fucking dead elephant in the mail because of this shit, I'm going to be so pissed off oh at you. Just, it, we I, open up the P.O. Box, it just stinks. Oh God. And it's just, there's a tiny dead elephant there. And oh, it's just, I but it, you guys didn't But do you get to keep the ivory is the question. I don't even think it has tusks, does it? It doesn't look like it here, but it's oh, when it grows, when it grows up, it does. When it grows up, it does. Okay. When it's like right this high as like a big, high. big dog. Yeah. I want to make one correction because people are going to correct me anyways, but my mom yeah. doesn't have a BA in science. That's not a thing. So uh, oh, yeah. A bachelor, a bachelor of arts. Of a bachelor science. of science. Yes. There we go. So, Look at that. You're, you're, you're it's correcting hard, yourself. You know, you guys, it's like you're here and you're ch- trying to like keep a conversation going. Sure, and you're a sure. little bit, you know, again, I'm not on the show for my brains and everyone knows that. Yeah. So, yeah, Off my back. I, uh, I, I I got one suggestion though before we leave air. Um, maybe change this website that you're continuously staring at from bomb.com to Google, just so okay. you can look things up. Like oh, oh. nothing is going on on the bomb.com. Oh, nothing. Yeah, get Not ahead yet. of that. Not yet. Oh, Not God yet. Me it. and Jack, we're gonna make it happen. Uh, look, go All to right. rosspattersonrevolution.com. So pick pick yourself up some sweet teas or tri blends. Go to at st james st james on Instagram to follow about the show and our Ross Patterson Revolution Instagram page. We love you. Thanks for being here, everyone. Good night. Good night.